on a frequency of 52 megacycles by authority of the Federal Communications Commission. A test program follows. Operating on a frequency of 52 megacycles by authority of the Federal Communications Commission. A test program follows. Good evening everyone, welcome to The Coach Show. This is June the 1st. Who would have thought it? Six months, well five months, completed five months of the year so far. How's and everyone doing? And SAS update today. I'm sure it's coming, but Memorial Weekend probably took its time. Mm. So, welcome to the show everyone. Good to see uh, six of you watching. Um, for If you're first time here, this is where we go through the current standings for the Coach event. This Speaking is Coach of Nine. first, Captain was the first to comment on today's stream. And he's gone to bed. Good night, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and it's my four sub four four month subversary, which is worrying because I've been Woo! doing this since day one, six months ago. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, Captain Deck's still here. So first of all, Brett, I feel you should congratulate me. Do you know why I think you should congratulate me? Because you've been putting up with me for like almost a year. Oh, over a year. But no, on apart stream. from apart from I'm that. on stream. I know, but what else, man? What else? Oh yeah, you won chamber. I uh, no no, but more important than that, more important than that. Ooh, more important than that. Uh, uh, you actually got prizes to quiz winners a long time. Okay, keep going. Not that one either. <laughs> you actually got prizes to coat winners on time. No, that was your job. <laughs> oh, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> I remember to a mutus. <laughs> Speaking of which, if it makes you feel good, uh, I was watching the stream of a British YouTube streamer called the Spiffing Brit. Mm, and he spent a good five ten minutes on with his stream talking about the fact that he always forgets to unmute himself, uh, and uh, and people will be trolling in his stream saying that they can't hear him when he's uh, when he hasn't muted, and then he'll end up muting himself because he thinks he's muted because his chat's trolling him. So you're not the only one. Yeah, people I know. Are, people that rake in thousands of pounds streaming also forget to unmute. It's not like I bought a stream deck just to make it easier, and so I now have like two buttons. Meter. But anyway, yes, let's let's stop the rambling for today. Um, I've got an eight month badge. I'm an eight month subscriber on my, on my account. Wow. So, well, so I mean, this week, I, I as you said, I, I won a chain bound. You did. This has happened now three times, four times in in, in my life, um, and, and, and came... how, how many times have I been there? With me, none. Yeah, ah, ah. Not to say that correlation equals causation, but hey, I've only won twice at Bitsy. Uh, but no, I just drew an awesome deck. So, uh, the, and I, I'm going to share the deck into the chat. I, I, it's only a SAS 67, but I think it's way better. Like a lot of the dark, my Dark Titans decks, all of them are really, really low SAS, and uh, everyone's. And I, this is just a fun deck, and it plays off quite well. But I mean, what else do we have? I mean. What What on else happened with you this Sunday, week? On Sunday I was watching uh, Keyfrogs playing their highest rated Dark Titans deck, which is an 80 SAS. But as they quite as they point out when looking at it, it didn't have much tide manipulation, which was quite interesting to see because so uh, it seems that and uh, some of my highest SAS DTs don't really have much tide manipulation, so it'd be quite interesting to see where SAS goes with that. But other than that for me uh, I'm working on some stuff in the background, and uh, I ha saw some amazing games. I cannot I wait to get these guys going there. And a huge shout out to One Star Peeps. Andrew recorded the final game for me at 4 a.m. Monday our time because unfortunately one of the Argentinian players was ill. So I couldn't play at the allotted time and couldn't and had no time to play until four AM my time and they didn't want me on that. I mean thanks to Julian here for subscribing Prime as well. Um, every person subscribes helps put money towards our prize fund. It will probably be coat twelve or thirteen. 
Would you want to take Captain's question? Uh, thank you, Julian, for the sub. Oh, it's where's, where's, where's the alert box? I, it, I specifically made alert boxes for this. Yeah, it, it came up. I saw it. I did it. I did it. Okay. Uh, and Captain Chosen, the answer is none. The, 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 I, I successfully got Kesis working no times, but it was very oh, good for them. You did get that. You did get that discovered. Yeah, I got that discovered by another team, uh, by Jack, who beat me in the last round. It may not be a big deal to you where one stop you, but it was a big deal to me because it meant I didn't have to get up at four at half three to get everything up and running. And then not only would he have to get up, he then gets bullshit from me for getting up, he's bullshit from his wife for getting up, but he just gets his own back on his son for waking him up at four o'clock in the morning. Exactly. So yeah. Right, so we're going to move on now to the other exciting news that we have. Um, do you want to start by going through what we've been agreed on for the prizes? Change. Oh, yes. Well, change, the, it's not so, change, addition, sorry. Let's not scare people. So, last week I made a very good point of pointing out that the Sanctum group were not in line to win any prizes from the, inter from the European, Asian Pacific, or uh, US side pots so the captain's deck has very graciously offered to give three decks to the team that gets the highest score within sanctum but does not make the top cut so if you're in the sanctum group and you do not make top cut but have the highest overall score at the end of round robin the captain will be issuing you with some decks which is uh, he not, did not need to do it we didn't ask him today he came forward absolutely amazing uh, streamer I do recommend checking out his content. He'll be playing at 8 p.m. CST, 7 p.m. BST on Friday. It's really great content and some really good inlooks into where DT, where Dark Time sort of fits into the competitive styles of Keyforge. And I've I've been adamant in saying that I don't think DT will take a, a open set. Voltor, but I'm starting to change my mind after hearing what the captain had to say about it on his stream. I'm interested to see how that's going to go because I could I could happily see that debate either way. So let me just move bread around slightly. Um, but it, it, it's going to be interesting to see how it comes through. I mean, I, I just want this to be a solid Voltor so we can play it with new people. Not that I don't love my locals, not that I don't mind being built in by Phil and Levan. Uh, I, I did week, also but... promise the captain that if we ever go to Sweden or if he comes here, we'll buy him a drink. Which I think is fine. Yeah, I, I think he has the better deal, but yeah. But Sweden, <laughs> um, are you in Stockholm, Captain? If, Do if he is in Stockholm, I know the restaurant we are taking him to. Ooh. Oh, shame. Um, if he, we were taking you to the Viking restaurant in Stockholm, which is one of the most awesome restaurants in the world. Just don't expect more than one glass of alcohol. Uh, really I'll expensive. check where my wife's. One, my wife's got some fans out in uh, Sweden because when she was having trouble getting into the Netherlands, one of them offered to if she went to Sweden, he'd drive her to the Netherlands from Sweden. Uh, so, yeah, uh, possible to get there. Human smugglers, if we need it, good to know. <laughs> exactly. Uh, but no, Castor, I, I, I end up going to Sweden every year or so. So yeah, well, I'll, I'll look out for you, man. If uh, we get there, I'll take you to the Viking restaurant and we can enjoy the traditional Viking. It um, would be a fun seven-hour drive. <laughs> that's a fun seven-hour drive, yeah. Well, that's worth seven-hour drives. Uh, so, um, moving on to my notes uh, here. Yeah, hello, not tonight. We, did, uh, we didn't notice you. I apologise for not calling out when you came instead. Yes, and most importantly, not tonight, do you have your prize deck from the quiz? Yeah, well, have you not seen it? Uh, no, has it gone? Oh, yes, it did go live, yes. Yeah. Right. She what? Did she Second place has the prize. The, uh, now needs to do the first place prize. <laughs> Yeah, it's I, lit up. It's fine. He's moved house. It made it harder. That's my excuse. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, he, I was uh, I was just about to go to bed last night after working on this project, and then I got an email going. Lit ops has sent you uh, kit, a coat nine round one uh, slides. Like, oh yeah, that's back. I got himself a quiz. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, and one thing Slitot suggested is he's, he's wondering if we should move away from a quiz to doing more just interesting stats. Now, I'm very much keen to keep the quiz, yeah. but what do you guys, because we only sort of get two or three people playing the quiz, would you rather just have some interesting information or would you rather have the quiz in its current form or would you rather have something else? I mean, our quiz we do weekly here is just for a bit of fun. Um, it's one of those of just trying to see if we can guess the current format. 
Um, so not tonight says she likes the quiz. If there's someone out, we'll, we'll take the feedback from and we'll discuss it with Litops. All right, that's two for the quiz. That's fairly clear. The quiz is staying then, as that's the entire people I mean, playing. What we what we could do is have the initial have the initial information. Have the have uh, Litops send us the quiz questions separately to go on there, and then after we've done the quiz, go back to the interesting breakdown as to what the quiz questions are doing relating to Coke 9. Ooh, could try that. What does the chat think? Should we do that for next week? Because when we were going through the quiz questions, one of my questions was, well, I know where three of the decks are that are playing this one card. I'm interested to know where the other two are. Mm, definitely. So, uh, we're going to move on to our, our weekly roundup of events around the world. Um, we're going to start with uh, for Malaysia, there is this week they are in the process of, um, of a week long, middle of a week long um, tabletop day event where they're running mm. a, 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 a large, what they're trying to be is the largest Malaysian Keyforge event, which given that they think that they're the only store that play it, shouldn't it be too hard for them, uh, with the top four coming up in the next couple of days. And we hope to have the results from that next week. Um, we're now going to move on to Bitsy because I won the event. Just to say it again, uh, Bitsy. It's, but Bitsy's doing Bitsy's with Board and City Southampton. They're doing their weekly events again on a Monday. Uh, we had six people there yesterday. So Board and the City had on its peak had fifteen to twenty people a week. Um, but it was nice to see that uh, the six of us were there. One guy, two guys I didn't recognise though. Apparently they're both regulars. I just hadn't come across them, uh, and it was a great event. Um, and if you are in the Portsmouth sort of area, I believe Dice. Dice on a Wednesday. Tomorrow? Yeah, Dice on a Wednesday. They um, unfortunately the road the the, the road work stopped me going. <laughs> but uh, I'm really interested to see what that has happened to their Prime kit because they were meant to have a Prime the weekend of lockdown. Like so the, the day after lockdown was the day of their Prime, so they should still have a Prime kit. We'll see what there. happens. If we move on to AFK now. Um, uh, blah, 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 blah. This week, Keyboard if roulette. France that in Keyforge Roulette for this tournament, player must bring two decks, each having a max size of seventy. There are six different formats, and each one of them will be randomly selected each round. It's a bit like uh, same format cannot be played twice. Games are best Ooh. as one, uh, and then the formats are Archon, pick your poison, your you choose your opponent's deck from the two he has. Wormhole, each player gets to one random deck for the four decks, and your opponent the other. Tiny Battlefield, you cannot play a creature if you have already eight creatures on the board. 10 round attack at the 10th round the second player time rule is applied chain bound each player starts with nine chains there is it shouldn't be called chain bound but yeah there's also a shadows once again i don't know where they got it from another shadows prize kit split for the winners <coughs> Ooh, prize kit. so uh if you uh, want to play online i think that's online um Should and be. the french afk that's for is that the uh, the sculpture for the prize kit yeah, that's the urchin. I've had it for about a week now, and my wife over the weekend went, What's that? I was like, That's an urchin. He's been there for a week. Uh, <laughs> you have to get one of these giant keys, which I hope they make red and yellow ones always well. I'm sure they would. I'm sure they will. Ah. Um, do you want to move on to do Swindle, man? Talk about the Swindle? Yes, yeah, so Swindle, uh, this com we are coming up this Saturday at 11 EST, have got the big one, Chapter 2. This is an open Archon with, that is limited to Dark Tidings only. No Sass limit, no card limit, no restricted cards. Just any Dark Tidings deck. They're expected to have six rounds with to X2 making top cut, but it will depend on participation. It, there is a $10 minimum donation to be made via PayPal. Uh, but half of that goes to Doctors Without Borders. The other half goes towards prize party, the, the prizes. For the winners uh, go, for, uh, going down to top three, uh, it's going to be streamed by Zach Armstrong and Morvis again. Really great breakdowns, Morvis. One hell of a streamer, and Zach Armstrong, half of the uh, power behind uh, Coffee, Coffee Discovery. I don't know. I forgot what the kind of name is. But it's definitely well, it's for a building cars, it's going to be a lot of fun. I do. We want you to check out, and Ultimo is correct. That is a Dusk Runner, not an Urchin. I completely I missed them up. There's Dusk Runner. Call of Discovery. Hey, I got it right. And finally, um, we have press the wrong button. Uh, finally, uh, did I... right there we go. 
<clears throat> Finally, we have another Board and City charity event. Uh, this is an online event taking place on the 12th of June. I'll put the link into the chat. Ivana is putting it together again. Uh, they are planning to do a, mar it's a marathon event for 24 hours, starts on 12th of June, open to anyone in the world. Fee entry is £2.50 per player. Any money made will go to Solent Mind, which is one of our local mental health charities, which is particularly important right now. Um, and uh, yeah, their aim is we're going to have um, prizes for the who has the wins the, the winner on average play who's played six five to six sessions. The winner on average plays three to four sessions. The winner on average plays one to two sessions, and the youngest or the, the youngest based on average, the under, the highest under sixteen. Um, so I'm going to be there for one or two rounds. My aim is I'm not sure exactly. It, I was there for the last one. It was a lot of fun. I did meta deck a little bit with the ones I won. I'm just wondering what constitutes as playing like if i just put if i sit flint on my lap and put his hand on the mouse and just move it around for him and get him to click does that count as him playing for me to win that youngest player under 16. no <laughs> i'll put my foot down on this one and say no <laughs> But that's uh, on the twelfth, so it's coming up next. Not this week, but next week. Um, yep. We like the big one. It's great to have a load of people here. Great people have most people around the world. Keen for people to come. I we may do some. Brett and I might do some streaming. We haven't really thought about it much. Um, depends on our availability. But it'd be great to see more people there. Uh, I will be definitely be there for one of the rounds, though. Which one? I'm not sure yet. One or more it of the rounds. It depends on uh, family situation as well, because uh, the, the the car gets serviced tomorrow. And then the wife wants to go up and see her grandparents at some point because we haven't been up since her dad's funeral. So, yeah, I, I get that. Yeah. One. And I've got family birthdays that day again, <laughs> as every time we have anything raised with bits on a Saturday. Right. I don't have a family birthday to the twelfth of July. Uh, Finns. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> right. Uh, moving on to the metrics now. Um, where was the mouse? So. Um, we every week, uh, Dominic uh, from or Liptop, Damian even from Liptops does some awesome breakdowns, and uh, this is what goes into the quiz. I'm kind of assuming everyone is aware of this by now. Um, why are you sharing that screen? I Let's... was very surprised with the representation of Dark Tidings in Code Nine. Really? You I did. I expected. I expected there to be more. Ah, yeah. Sorry. That's. I. I thought. I. I, th I didn't actually have any expectations to be honest. I could have I, ha happily seen it yeah. go either way. Bye. 